Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Talk. My name is Nicole Asinogo. I am at La Taverna Tex-Mex restaurant in Lecky, here to meet some people to have some good food, some good drinks, and even better conversation. Trust me, this one's gonna be juicy. On today's episode of Real Talk, we have actor Uche Madagu, Francesca Uriwi, the founder of Leading Ladies Africa, beauty entrepreneur Leslie Okoye, and actor-director Daniel Effiong. The marriage idea is the one that you can be there and you're free to do what you want to do. Like and then what? she's free to do like what she wants to do. Yeah. No, but mm-hmm. when you say like free, you're free. Hey, everybody. Hey. How are you? Yeah. Guys talking before I get here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. Hi, guys. How's everyone doing? Great. Great. <laughs> the topic today is actually like single women over 30. You know, do you feel like these women, um, it's that big of an issue to be single over 30? So I know like people have spoken about this topic a lot of times, but what do you think about the stigma associated with these single women over 30? Do you think that it's valid? Do you think that it's outdated? Do you think that it's their fault? So today we just really want to talk and hear your opinion. So I'm going to start with you. (laughs) Since, you know, Oh, well, I I feel it's it's nothing. Age is just for numbers. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you marry 30, 40, 50. You sure? Just got 70. That. You finally <laughs> got married. You finally got married. So that's what you point as well. You finally gotten yeah. married. You don't seem very okay. enthusiastic about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I feel married. I would like you to give it a slight more thought. I feel married is a cage. Okay, that's okay. for you, your opinion as a guy. Have you ever been married? She's going straight at the jugular. She's, she's asking the questions. Have you been? No, I'm not judging. I'm okay. just actually asking. Mm-hmm. It sounds like he has some sort of personal experience that makes him feel that way. Okay. Have you been okay. close to being married? Okay. Been mentally, 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 okay. mentally, okay. mentally, I've been married a couple of times. Mentally, you've been married. I, I feel like there are well, that's just um, thing of society. More, there's more societal pressure there's on a woman as opposed to if you see a 35 year old guy unmarried. The first question isn't why aren't you married? Right. But more. the first question when you see a 35 year old woman is ah. Right. Right. No, right. this right. thing you said now. My family mm-hmm. of many just, boys, so we're asking just, them why they're not married. Mm-hmm. I have many cousins to marry off. They're close to 40, <laughs> and every day I see them, I'm like, please, I don't understand. But it's more acceptable. And I'm bringing women. It's not more acceptable. In my culture, no, you can't say that because you're not in. There are over 160 million. Mm-hmm. You cannot say if you have not done a survey with at least 100 million people mm-hmm. to say that in society. Mm-hmm. In Igbo mm-hmm. culture, men should be married when they get older because was marriage... It, was but, but in, in the same Igbo culture, it's more acceptable for men to marry ladies. It's not acceptable. Yes, it is. It is. A lot so, of Igbo so, so, women so. I know get married late. My father wanted me to get married late. My sisters if quote unquote you would say got married late so my giving, older sister giving a late, uh, a late, uh, a late female marriage and there was no pressure on marriage, what's more acceptable is the question it's is changing it no but it is changing in the past, in the past. is it more acceptable but why are we talking about the past when 2017 though so you think, past, so you think in 2017 let's talk about how it's affecting 2017 and the generation of people without now. going back to the past that, it just because change is the only constant absolutely but what are we changing from it just brings me to... I'm saying right now, people have more options and it depends for every individual. Right. If you feel like, and I think people are beginning to put some, they keep blaming society. Oh, society, society is putting pressure. <laughs> people are putting, 50% of the pressure comes from you. You are putting that pressure. Nobody is forcing anybody. To but there are no, questions. We need to say nobody, you know, I wouldn't say force, but however, there, force, there, there, is being a, there is a to pressure. The, your parents have not now said, there is a pressure from now. everyone, even <laughs> strangers. You get pressure. I, I agree with you. And in terms of like society, just drilling down to that, what it really means is that how are we socialized? Right. You're a young girl. Mm-hmm. You're, so I remember this personally. I'm, you know, my mom is like, how, how come you're boiling rice like that? When you go to your husband's house, is, is this you what you're going to do? And these are things that you internalize. So it's not even conscious. You internalize. She's not having those conversations with my brother. She has never told him when you get married, is your, are you going to build it? So a woman internalizes these things differently. And so when you talk about societal pressure, so you start to feel like, okay, could I, did this happen because I didn't do this? Or am I not yet married because 
I burn rice. I totally understand, but mm. that you're just talking about so, your experience no, no, based on so, your plan, house. Plan, so what you're supposed to do when you find yourself, and you must find yourself, mm. is to say, look, who am I? Mm. What do I want? Mm. What are my needs? Be honest with yourself. I'm a huge fan of marriage. I think it's beautiful. But I think that you should also be aware that marriage is not about white picket fences. Right. It's about it's so much it's, more. there's the bliss. But there's sickness, there's moodiness, right. there's crankiness. Right. A lot of people know that That's now. Be very aware. They do get it. No, people are only aware exactly. after like... You're only like, talking you know, to... You know, you know there is an aspiration You're talking to, to marriage, people that are... You know? mm -hmm. Your friends, your whatever. Move out. You will see people know that. There are many people that know that. Know what? No, that marriage, marriage is not about picket yeah, fence. This is not 1960. It, There's an experience. But let me, do you agree that is, sorry, Daniel, do you agree that there is an aspiration in every culture, not just our culture? In Hollywood, you see the young girl who, you know, exactly. she's All dressing up as a bride. You know, she has this idea of how marriage is going to be. Right. There's a fantasization around marriage, this romanticization that we have yeah. in general as the humans, you know? So do you think there is a danger in this aspiration to marriage Outside. before 30. Okay, for those people, because I wouldn't say it's 100% the general co consensus or even 50, I was never one of those people. You before. never aspired to no, marriage? No, I never aspired to marriage. I knew yeah. that marriage would happen. And the people that knew me knew that. I said it with my mouth that marriage would happen. I but always, that's, aspi that's aspiration. That's not aspiration. Yes, it is. No, because it I wasn't because planning the marriage. No, it doesn't. It's not aspiration doesn't mean a plan. Because so every beautiful girl no, is married. No, because you are beautiful. <laughs> so mentally, you know it's no, going to definitely no. happen. No, see, you're, you're not in my mind. No. See, you're, you're judging. You're talking you're from judging. your perspective because you're beautiful. You're beautiful. No, I don't think she mm. meant you think she meant it because she's beautiful? Yes, see what I mean. If you're good looking, you So it's my fault that I look the way that I look. Yeah, because so you know it's so a So people that no, you consider ugly, I'm, 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 I'm going to hear what Suche has to say. What you. Mm -hmm. I know it will definitely happen. So what's it's the big a, deal? It's a word of, you know, well, maybe she didn't that possibility. You're no, judging. because she knows she's beautiful. <laughs> it has nothing if to do with beauty. Good looking, if she's so not do you think, good looking. So do you think a woman who is not that good looking will not be able to make such a confident statement, I will marry? Can you imagine? People, Thank you. Most people, most people that are not as beautiful as she is, I mean, she's breathtaking. I'm no, I'm waiting for your point. Okay, so, so, so let me give you a scenario. So there's this girl, right? So she was dating this guy. You know, the guy was like kind throughout the relationship. He had a good job. You know, he treated her well. You know, everything was really like great, right? But then three years later, she just felt like, you know, I'm almost 30. She's 28. She felt like she could do better. She didn't feel that excited by the relationship. She didn't feel that spark. You know, he was a good guy, but she felt like she could do better. Mm -hmm. So she broke it up. A few years later, the girl is 35 years old. She's still single, right? Um, the guy that she left is married and he has a baby on the way. Would you say that it's this woman's fault that she's single? Wherever you are in life mm -hmm. is as a result of your choices. High five. You know, okay. so if you decide that you don't want to marry someone, you want to still wait for someone else, then you're no. single because of that. Because chance. everybody's now thinking, it's... and this is my point. People, everybody will now say, you are single because you didn't marry that guy. Mm. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with the guy. But it does. You're single because you didn't marry that guy and you said no and to several other yeah, opportunities. Yeah, probably. No, 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 no. We don't know that. Does that mean that's the only guy? Does that mean that's the guy? No, no, she's single. She said no to this. She's single because she really needs, she really needs deliverance. She needs deliverance. Yes. No, you said three years. You dated someone for three years and the guy was good. According to your story, the guy was so good. Yeah. I mean, it's like me, very good. Yeah. And, <laughs> still, like and still, you right. left him. Yeah. Why? You can't even explain yourself. It's a good you know, she good. Better. She no, wanted some, this something are the, better. What is better than good? You wanted someone, well, better, better is yeah, better. Yeah, but better than is better. Better, better is better than better good. That's the illusion. Good, see, good. That's why we have so many women in the churches going for deliverance session. This is what contributes to it. Why will you leave somebody who is so good? But just because he's good doesn't mean he's the right person for you. There's but what's the right person? Perfection is an illusion. She she like she like maybe she laughs. Perfection is an illusion. See, let me say perfection something. Perfection is yes, right. Mm. Let me say she something. Needs let me say something. Okay. Okay. Based on what she said, and I'm not. Everybody's situation is different. different. Now, if you're telling me, like I said, does she want to be alone or does she want to be married? She wants to be married. She wants to be married. But she wants so, to feel that spark. In the quest for finding that thrill park whatever it is 
you might end up in a pit because at 35 you will now find you will now discover that there are more important things Absolutely. in life but who says so, 35 so you, is late exactly and do it you think late. that the older you get the lower your standards get? i don't no. think so do you think yes no, because because you think? Think? Oh, when you go to a party hmm, and they're serving food and then they were serving they, they served no. everybody who, who attended <laughs> then you refuse to eat yeah. Definitely, when the party is almost uh, getting mm, to the end, you will eat, eat anything you have. Yeah, you can absolutely. eat concussion. <laughs> so, I mean, she, you, the, as you grow older, yeah. the standard, Come because down. you just, want, some to, people, just wow. want to be in okay. 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 some people. Wait, 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 you're trying to When you begin to know yourself and what you want, then, and you have the courage to wait for it. Mm. Because it also courage comes courage. Is very so wait for so what you now? To 70, yeah. Yeah. Wait for whatever it is that you, you want. That want. To make you a lot of people spark. make. See, let me let me say something. Based on what you said about this girl, and you said she's still looking for love. She's holding on to the right person. Now, there are a few. I come from a family of three girls, so we're four girls, right? Four I'm girls, number three. Girls. I'm number three, and um, I got married. I got married first. My sister got married. My younger sister got married second. Now, my older sister was one of those people who had dreams and aspirations. First of all, she wasn't going to marry a Nigerian guy because of the experiences she had been through through life. Let's not jump in. Um, and then she always had this ideal. He would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. She had a list. He had to accept her for who she was and um, there were just so many criteria. you know one day i just said to her that you know she was she always knew that she would get married she would find a person but did she lower her standards it wasn't about lowering her standards there is no perfection those that remain single for a long time are those that keep pointing blame at somebody. What he did, what he didn't do, what but he... But is it a bad thing to be single and, at know, 30? No, we're not saying exactly. it's a bad thing. Yeah, do bad you agree thing. that you can have a 35-year-old woman who wants to get married? However, that's what she's, she's, still, she's still waiting for what the kind waiting of guy for? that she wants, that she, she feels is right. Menopause is 40. Uh -huh. Menopause is 40 yeah. at 35. We have just uh -huh. five years. Mm -hmm. To, yeah. to beat the menopause yes. stage. So when you are still waiting, what are you waiting for? No, 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 no. You can't exactly. wait. You know, when you find We're a woman who is too like much 30, on ourselves. six or whatever, there's automatically the impression that, oh, she's the way she is because she's so picky and she's looking for. Yes. Sometimes the simple thing is, and I'm breaking this down in pidgin English, she not see who go marry. There are a lot of women that I know personally almost 40 it is just wait it is just wait it's just i'm here nobody yes has come to wait no 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 no, no. Yep. but there is society but it still depends on what the individual wants we can't we, we can't exist outside of society no, but so, everybody so still doesn't follow the same path yes but that's what society is society right now there's a lot of divorce there's a lot of divorce despite that's, society yes um, the rate of divorce in Nigeria has increased a tenfold. And why this do you think that is? Society. Why do you think that is? Because not everybody's conforming to society. But I don't think or it's, I don't think it's because of their conforming and then they realize I don't understand. They How are they conforming to society? Society, exactly. society, exactly. society don't says like don't divorce. divorce. Exactly. No. no. Do you society think? back in the day would say, as you said, that's, let's go to the past, right? Well, that's back in the days. But what society And now you're changing now. it. No, no. Society evolves. Culture changes. Yes. Culture evolves. Just, so culture and the reason culture evolves is People are not understanding, both men, both women are not understanding the institution of marriage before getting into it. Yes, they believe in the whole picket fence. Even I, see, I'm married. I had a fear because people don't understand this whole marriage. We were too big to get, is he trustworthy? What do you mean is he trustworthy? What, will he not cheat on you? That's the only thing we look for when we're talking about trustworthy. Most people look for, will he not cheat on you? Trustworthiness and somebody lying to me is, I think you're able to provide, all of a sudden you can't provide. I find out that you're a gambler. Yeah. That's part of not being trustworthy. Yeah. And half of divorces are not caused because of cheating. cheating. Nobody is perfect. Women, Nigerian women cheat more than anybody else in the world. That's what the research says, right? What research? That's what they that say all over. So since right. we're saying Which society, one? that's what society I think I is now saying. See, if you keep listening to society oh. and things like that, 
Thank you. Not a fact. One reason. It's not a fact. So it doesn't it's make it's it. a myth. I think whatever you have or whatever um, situation you find yourself is as a result of your choices. I agree with you. So whatever. So if 40, you say so no to one, woman, two, three men, what if nobody ever asked her? It's still to marry her. Then it's a result of your choice that you refuse to and ask. Also, What's wrong with asking besides, men to marry besides, you? Besides, besides, no one has asked you. Go ask someone out. Can anyone ask you to marry her? I've had countless women. Ask what would you think about them? Do you want to do you want to know what I said to them? Yes. Do you want to know what I said today? I'm asking. I said they should go for deliverance because you cannot ask a man to marry you. Hey, it's it's you don't do it. You don't do it the other way around. You don't do it the other way around. You need to wait for the man to come and ask you. Mic drop. That's what you need to do. Okay, so, okay. okay. So, such women are because not for you. Because he would take it for granted. And that's a majority of him in the society. He would take it for granted. Wait, I have a question. I have a question. Would you say that because? women are now financially independent as opposed to before where they were very very like reliant on the man would you say that has given them some kind of um independence or freedom to yes. choose maybe i don't want to get married maybe right. i'm okay Absolutely. single Absolutely. Yeah. They can, maybe they i'm can okay do it all by themselves. they can do it all they by think themselves they can do it they all think by they themselves can. So some, women can. some women can and some women can and some women can what are you, you doing know? all by yourself living. they're living no, lives no, living what lives. is living though no they're impacting other lives they don't don't have to be married you don't have to have a child right. all the children that don't have parents are your children see let me tell you marriage is all about love man if i'm 27 and i see a lady of like 32 33 i don't really think i can do that if the love is there i can do that my own opinion is not bad because being single is not it's not something you can just dream of well some are lucky but be married at 26 25 but being 30 and you're still single, there must be a reason for it. Maybe you're still waiting for the perfect person. Some, it could be their fault. Some, it might not be their fault. You understand? But in most cases, it used to be their fault. Because when they see an offer, that's a man coming to approach them. Some will brag, bluff up. But by the time they miss it, they will now start to regret. If the woman is too selective, for her to still be single at 30, summer is bad. But on her own, there is no sitters coming for her and all of that. It is not her fault. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. It is God's time. So what about you, Uche? 35-year-old woman, beautiful, successful, great she job. Needs deliverance. <laughs> no, don't put him in the box <laughs> now. Don't, don't, put him in the box. don't put the young man in the box. <laughs> don't hold it for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. So, very words. interesting. <laughs> Do you have any last words for, you know, people watching this, you know, if you have a single woman who is over 30s, who is unmarried? The advice I would give for any woman, 30, over 30, whatever, that wants to get married, is the same that I always say. Know yourself. There's more to life than marriage, but if yeah. you do want marriage, focus on you. Awesome. Daniel, any last words? Like, like, like I said, culture is changing. Things are changing now. People are beginning to realize that being unmarried above 30 isn't the end of the world. Yes, it is yeah. totally fine. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. so please enjoy life. Your time will come. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I mean, I'll just say be open okay. because you never love know. doesn't, love won't come through a closed door. Uche, any last words? Yeah, I, I think they should not rule out the option of a deliverance. It's... <laughs> It's important. It's important. See, when when he no no he looks no. like he's joking. <laughs> no, the man no, is no, I'm, no, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. What he's saying is he has said a number of things now, and he has said that person needs deliverance. If you're married, if you're above thirty, you're not married. You need deliverance. If you propose, you need deliverance. If you don't cook for him, you need deliverance. So, I mean, deliverance like, is a continuous deliverance. process. So you never end. Yes. So you must keep getting and it's just the woman that needs deliverance, right? No, never you know the man. Why, you know why is the but, woman? Okay, okay, I think that if we don't. This, we're all gonna need deliverance. <laughs> 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 gonna go on forever. So, I think I just wanna thank you guys so Absolutely. much for like sharing your opinions. Like, this you. was like so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanted to join our chat, please join our conversation in the comments below. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Indani TV and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.